Hello and welcome to Angle Relationships in Triangles. This is Chapter 8, Lesson 6 from the Nelson Math Focus Textbook. That's what we're using at St. John Fine Arts School. And uh, I'm Mr. Bricko. Welcome to my MathCast. Today's goal is to demonstrate and use the sum of the interior angles of a triangle. Now, sum means when you add things together, an interior angle is an expression that you're going to be familiar with and hopefully use in the future after this lesson. On page 266, we have a character who's called Tara. She's creating a backsplash over the kitchen counter, and she wanted to know maybe if she could use triangular tiles to create a straight border with no empty spaces. And uh, so here's an example of the tile that she has. It just so happens that the tile that she's chosen is called a right triangle because it has a right angle in it, and uh, that means it's got a 90 degree angle. So she takes this triangle and uh, she's translating it over here and creating a new triangle or she's just using her tiles and she's laying them out. Then she rotates one triangle and she places it in between the top two. You'll notice there's no space in between and when she measures this angle here she finds a right, uh, a straight angle here, a straight angle. So she's measuring this whole angle and she finds a straight angle. Question A is what do you notice when you draw a triangle with three acute angles, which means less than 90 degrees, and then make two copies of the triangle and cut out three triangles and place them in this way. So I want you to take a chance to pause the presentation. Once again, you're going to draw three triangles, but they have to be congruent. They have to be exactly the same as each other. So you can use a photocopier if you have one at home, or you can trace it, but you're going to need to use a ruler and you need to make sure they're all the same. Go ahead, take a chance to do that. Welcome back. Hopefully what you discovered is that each angle in the triangle uh, is an acute angle and when you put them together, for instance like this one that I'm going to do here, these are all acute angles here, less than 90 degrees, and you copy it and rotate it and move it over to here just like Tara did, you'll find the same straight angle on the bottom. Now your triangle might not have looked like the triangle that I'm using here and it might not have looked at like the triangle that we used in the first example, but you're going to find this with any triangle that this is going to happen. Now I would like you to uh, take a turn for question B now. Question B is to measure the interior angles of your original triangle. I want you to add them together and tell me what you notice. So you're going to measure this angle here, that angle there, and that angle there, and you're going to add them together with a calculator or in your head or on a piece of paper. Let me know what you found out. Welcome back and uh, what you might have found out if you were using a triangle like mine is that you have a 60 degree angle here, a 60 degree angle at this point, and a 60 degree here. When you add 60 plus 60 plus 60 you get 180 and uh, you might think that's an uncanny coincidence uh, that you got 180 for yours as well or very close to 180. It depends on how precise you were when you measured but actually that's not a coincidence. That's pretty typical for triangles. Uh, here's what we're going to do is show you another example like this. Here's my right angle uh, triangle from my first example. It means it has a 90 degree in one corner and then something like 30 and 60 degrees in the other two corners and what we have there when we add 90 plus 60 plus 30 is 180. So that's a that's a kind of a constant there. When you add the uh, angles of a triangle, you get 180. Question C says, repeat parts A and B uh, using a triangle with an obtuse angle. So here's my obtuse. This triangle here uh, has an angle that is over 90 degrees on it. Now that's going to affect the size of the other two angles. You'll see they're a little smaller here, but that's an obtuse angle. So what would what would we find if we did that? Well, we'd find that we could still place them together and you would still end up with a straight backsplash and uh, and you could run that all across your countertop because the angles when you add them together so for instance this was 120 30 and 30 that still creates 180. D is uh, when you have a straight border with a triangle tile is it possible that uh, you can do this with a tile without a right angle and the answer is yes. We showed you in this one here with the isosceles triangle that it doesn't have a, a, a right angle on it at all. It works really well and what you're doing here is you're actually measuring all of the angles of all of the uh, of all of the triangles, each, each angle in each one of the triangles. Thanks for joining me.